Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imagine and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make two sounds from the song Silent Shout by the band The Knife from the Swedish brothers Karin and Olof Dreyer. The two sounds are a kind of a sub bass kick and an amazing arpeggio that we're going to now look at. So let's get right into it and the first sound sounds like this okay and it has this equalizer here that i'm going to turn off for now and open the rc bring back default patch okay and first thing that we're going to do is change the first oscillator to a sine wave and now we're going to raise the ring modulator and the second oscillator to 584. Okay, sub oscillator we raise one octave and change it to a sine wave. And raise the sub oscillator to 517. Now on the second oscillator, we're going to turn sync on. We got sine wave on the first, sine wave on the sub oscillator, so this is about right. Now we go to the filter, and on the filter we're gonna envelope generator two amount. This is the amount of the second envelope generator modulating the cutoff frequency, and we're gonna drop it to four seven seven about there. Then we go to the cutoff frequency and put it at one fourteen. Okay, now let's go to the modulation page of the pitch and here we have envelope generator 2 controlling the pitch of the first and second oscillator and we're going to raise it to 464. Okay, like this. Now let's go to the first envelope generator. This one controls the amplitude of the sound. So we got 024. at 474, sustain at 444, release at 407. Okay, now for the second envelope generator, the one that controls the filter and now controls the pitch as well, we got 0 for the attack, 145 for the decay. Sustain at 334 and release at 377. Okay, first sound is done. Now let's go to the second one. This is the nice arpeggio. Okay, sounds nice. As you can see, there is an arpeggiator here playing on style up and down with a gate of 50 and a rate of 1 16th. But first I'm going to change here, Just I'm just going back to the sub just to turn on this equalizer which is cutting everything behind 100 and boosting here at about 147 hertz. So now back to our arp. bring back default patch okay and now what we're going to do is first oscillator is okay second oscillator should be one down and fine-tune it to 441 but first I'm gonna raise it here on the amplifier to 864 and I'll detune it to 441 Okay. Now sub oscillator raise one octave and raise the volume of the sub oscillator to 291. Now let's check pre gain 760. Okay. 
change the performance mode from poly to mono. Now let's go to the filter. And on the filter, drop the envelope generator to amount to 700, not drop, raise to 791. Cutoff filter at 619. And now let's go to the modulation of the keyboard, modulation of the filter, and raise it to 661. This means the higher the note, the higher the cutoff frequency. Now for the first envelope generator, modulating the amplitude, we got zero on the attack, 500 on the decay, zero on the sustain, 300 on the release. And for the second one, we got 230 on decay, zero on the attack, zero on sustain, and 100 on release. So finally, we go to the reverb, raise the amount to 267. Raise the decay to 730. and drop the damping to 3 to 2. Okay. And we got the sound. Okay. So now as you can see there are here some automations for you to check out. But uh, for now I'm going to get this ready for us to listen to. So bear with me. Just a tiny bit will I get this ready. Okay, I think we have everything ready. So let's now, yes, let's now listen. This was it guys i really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial remember that we have new content coming up normally every week sometimes even more so if you like our content please give us a like and subscribe to our channel that would mean a lot to us and for me it's goodbye and see you again next week goodbye